Um, I also know that you've introduced a concept called Ball Done. Yeah. Um, just explain to me what Ball Done is and where did it come from and how did you come up with it? Um, it I guess it's come originally from well, Whale Done, which was the how they tr uh, train a, a whale with the fish, um, and then obviously taken from uh, a Ball Done exercise. Um, uh, sorry, Bell Done exercise, which is the take on that, and why I wanted to play it something slightly different. So we've got uh, 10 marbles at the beginning of every week, and each member has those 10 marbles. They also have a pot on their desk, so every time somebody does something good for them, helps them out, does something good for the business, for the team, uh, we'll, we'll award that person with a ball, or it's up to the individual to award that person with a ball. So ball done, thank you very much. And then at the end of the week, the numbers are, uh, the balls are totted up. And assuming that a member has given away a ball, because there is that stipulation, they must have at least thanked one person during the week. If they have the most number of balls, ball dones, then they get a magic wand uh, for the following week. And the magic wand presents them with three wishes, and they can use those wishes, again, coupled with the values that are up on the wall, uh, as long as they encompass three of the values within it, they can use the wishes for anything they like. It ranges from uh, uh, an afternoon off without it coming out of their um, holiday allowance to a short term, uh, short notice holiday because we require so many days before they have a holiday or notice and they can just book a holiday for the following week or something if they wanted to, um, to not making the coffee for a day. They want a break from making the, the drinks for everybody and have everybody do something for them. Excellent. So just, just to, to recap on what that was then. So each team member has 10 marbles, balls yeah. at the beginning of the week and their own pot. Yeah. And every time they see somebody doing something good within the organisation, they want to say thank you or ball done to them. Yeah. They take one of their balls and put it in, in the other person's pot. And then at the end of the week, the person with the most balls in their pots gets one of the magic wands so they can go out yes. and do it. That's, that sounds really interesting. And I would imagine to start with, the team were a little bit reluctant to, to do it? Yeah, because I think they didn't know where the boundaries were with the wishes. Um, and we overcome that fairly simply, but it took a while to work it out, was that I asked everybody for um, 10 ideas in an email of what they would like to use it for. We amalgamated them and obviously some of them were the same. And we printed it out on cards and we hand that round with the one. So if people are struggling for ideas or worried about where the boundaries are, they know they can use them or use them for ideas. And when you say hand it out with the wand, there's physically a wand. Yes, there is. Yeah, we've got a wand as well. Yeah. Excellent. So that's something concrete that actually demonstrates yes. that they are. Yeah. And, we, the and, magic and we make a public announcement of them having the wand. Um, and also, we try as best we can to make sure everyone is aware that when someone's receiving a wand. So we will make sure that we stand up, walk over to them, and give it to them. And because obviously, dropping it in a, a test tube. It will make a bit of a plunk as well, and we've got oh, a massive an office signal as well. So, yeah, so you can hear it. It's really good. Um, so just tell me, if, if somebody was introducing this into their organisation, just how, how long have you been doing it for? Oh, probably six months. So it was, we're six months in. Yeah. And it, there was a little bit of resistance to start with, but yes. now everybody seems to be taking it on board, and it's developing this intimacy, etc., yes. etc. If, if somebody else was watching this and was thinking about introducing it into their organisation, again, we keep going back to the action that people should be taking as opposed yes. to just watching and listening. Yeah. What action do you think they should do? What's the first step for them to start on this road? Work out what's important to their team members. So we, we talked about what reward somebody could have. So there's, there's various different, you know, some people have uh, em, employee of the month and, and all that kind of stuff. And this is kind of an extension of that. We actually have a technician of the month ourselves, but that's not related to everybody. There's only a few people in the organisation that can get it. So we needed something that fitted for everybody and that reward was sufficient enough to make people want to take part. Because that's the overall, for me, that was the overall riding factor of it, is that people needed to take it on and in order for them to take it on, there needed to be a desire to, to take it yeah, on. So focus on the rewards and yes. make sure that the rewards are focused on the individual people that are playing the game yes. and not some highfalutin thing that you've come up with. Yes. And just correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it sounds like none of those rewards are cash based, they're no. all different. So there's no cash incentive at all, they're not all different no. things, it, uh, sort of experiences if you like. Yes. They were. And was there a reason why you did that? Um, because we had looked at another. Uh, form of uh, bonuses w that was going on, kind of under the under the 
radar at the time that we were, we were looking at implementing, so I didn't want it to be related to that. Um, but I think to say thank you to someone would be very easy to do if that person was going to get cash. I, I, I'm not sure the I'm not sure my team would do it, but uh, the ethics of it could have been taken the wrong way. Okay, that's really really great.